Have you ever wondered what your cat is trying to tell you? Well, you're not alone. Our feline friends may not speak our language, but they do have their own unique ways of communicating that are just as complex and nuanced. Understanding your cat's language is not just about curiosity, it's about building a stronger bond with your furry companion. It's about understanding their needs, their feelings, and their behaviors. It's about stepping into their world and seeing things from their perspective. Cats communicate in a variety of ways. They use their body language, their vocalizations, and even their marking behavior to express themselves. Each of these forms of communication carries its own set of signals and meanings. Deciphering these signals can seem like a daunting task, but don't worry. We're here to guide you through this fascinating journey into the world of cat communication. Stick around and you'll learn how to decode your cat's language in no time. Did you know that your cat's tail can reveal a lot about their feelings? Cats have a unique language of their own, and their body language plays a significant part in expressing their emotions and intentions. Let's delve into the world of cat tail movements first. A tail held high signifies a happy and confident cat, while a tail tucked between the legs often indicates fear or submission. If you notice your cat's tail puffing up like a bottle brush, it's a sure sign that they're frightened or agitated. And then there's the twitching tail, a clear signal that your cat is excited or anxious about something. But that's not all. Cats also use their ears to communicate. Ears that are standing up and facing forward show that your cat is alert and interested, while ears that are flattened or turned to the side or back often suggest that your cat is scared or aggressive. Now let's not forget about the eyes, the windows to a cat's soul. Dilated pupils can mean a cat is scared or excited, while narrowed pupils may indicate anger or aggression. However, it's important to consider the overall context. For instance, if your cat is in a dimly lit room, their pupils might dilate to let in more light, not necessarily because they're frightened. Another key aspect of cat body language is their posture. A cat that's lying on its back with its belly exposed is showing trust and contentment, but be careful. If their claws are out and their body is tense, they could be preparing to strike. On the other hand, a hunched posture with a tucked in tail and flattened ears shows that your cat is scared and trying to make itself appear smaller. So by paying attention to your cat's body language, you can get a good idea of their emotional state. Understanding these signals can help you better connect with your furry friend and ensure their well-being. Remember, every cat is unique, so take your time to learn and understand your own cat's language. Ever heard your cat meow and wondered what they're trying to say? Well, you're not alone. Cats use a variety of vocalizations, meowing, purring, hissing, and more, as a means of communication. And just like human languages, there's a certain complexity to cat speak that goes beyond a simple translation. Let's start with the most common sound, the meow. Kittens meow to their mothers, but as cats grow older, they typically use meowing as a way to communicate with humans. A short, high-pitched meow is often a friendly greeting, while a drawn-out meow can be a demand for attention or food. However, keep in mind that each cat is an individual with its own unique voice. Some cats are chattier than others and will use a wider range of meows to express themselves. Next, there's the soothing rumble of purring. Generally, cats purr when they are content and relaxed, like during a cozy nap or a gentle petting session. But cats also purr when they're stressed or sick, as a way to comfort themselves. It's like their version of a cup of hot tea on a stressful day. Then we have the hiss, a clear sign of an upset or frightened cat. If you hear a hiss, it's best to give your cat some space until they calm down. Remember, no two cats are alike, and what may be a hiss of annoyance for one might be a hiss of fear for another. Lastly, let's not forget about chattering. That's the odd, jaw-clicking sound cats make when they spot a bird or a squirrel outside the window. It's believed to be an expression of their frustration at not being able to get to the prey, or perhaps their anticipation of the hunt. Understanding your cat's vocalizations is a journey, not a destination. It's about building a relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. So listen closely, observe their body language, and respond accordingly. Remember the key to understanding your cat's vocalizations is listening and observing. Have you noticed your cat scratching furniture or rubbing against your leg? This might seem like a simple nuisance or a show of affection, but there's more to it than meets the eye. These are marking behaviors, a form of communication that cats use to express their feelings, their territory, and their need for security. Let's begin with scratching. Yes, it's a way for cats to keep their claws sharp and healthy, but it's also a form of marking. You see, cats have scent glands in their paws. When they scratch, they're not just physically marking an object, 
but they're also leaving behind their unique scent. This is their way of saying, this is my space, my territory. Now what about when your cat rubs against your leg? Or when they rub their face on the corner of a table? This is another example of marking behavior. Cats have scent glands on their cheeks, and by rubbing against you or an object, they're marking you or that object with their scent. It's like they're leaving a sticky note that says, I've been here, this is mine. But it's not just about territorial claims. Marking behavior also provides a sense of familiarity and comfort for your cat. They're creating a scent-filled environment that's distinctly their own, and this helps them feel secure and at ease. So when your cat is scratching your couch or rubbing against your leg, remember that it's more than just a mess or an act of affection. It's also a way for your cat to communicate their feelings and needs. It's their way of saying, I'm here, I'm comfortable, and this is my space. So what can you do about it? Well, providing appropriate outlets for these behaviors, like scratching posts or toys, can help keep your furniture safe and your cat happy. It's all about understanding and accommodating these natural instincts. Understanding marking behavior can help you meet your cat's needs and maintain a happy home. So the next time you see your feline friend leaving their mark, remember that they're just trying to communicate in their own unique feline way. Now, how can you communicate effectively with your cat? Understanding your feline friend goes beyond simply recognizing their meows or interpreting their body language. It involves building a bond of trust and respect. Here are some practical tips that can make your communication with your cat more effective. First and foremost, respect their boundaries. Cats are independent creatures, they appreciate their personal space and will come to you when they want attention. So, don't force interactions, wait for them to initiate contact. This shows them that you respect their autonomy and can significantly improve your relationship. Next, maintain a consistent tone of voice. Cats are highly sensitive to the tone and volume of human speech. Speaking softly and calmly can reassure your cat, while loud, angry tones can frighten them. So, keep your voice gentle and consistent, especially when you're trying to convey positive messages. In addition, learn to read their signals. Cats communicate a great deal through their body language. For instance, a tail held high usually signals happiness, while a twitching tail can mean your cat is agitated. By paying close attention to these signals, you can gain a deeper understanding of your cat's emotions and respond appropriately. Another practical tip is to engage in interactive play. Play is a universal language, and cats are no exception. Using toys that mimic prey, like feathers on a string or laser pointers, can provide mental stimulation and help build a stronger bond with your cat. Lastly, remember that each cat is unique. What works for one might not work for another. It's important to spend quality time with your cat and get to know their specific behaviors and preferences. This will allow you to tailor your communication methods to suit your cat's unique personality. Remember, patience and observation are key to understanding your cat. With time and consistent effort, you can build a deep, meaningful relationship with your feline friend. Whether you're a first-time cat owner or a seasoned feline aficionado, these practical tips can help you communicate more effectively with your cat. We've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? We dove into the fascinating world of feline body language, learning that every twitch of a tail or flicker of an ear has meaning. We then ventured into the realm of cat vocalizations, discovering that each purr, meow, and hiss is a unique part of their complex language system. Our journey led us to understand that even seemingly random behaviors like leaving a mess can be a form of communication. And of course, we shared some practical tips to help you better communicate with your whiskered companions. Remember, understanding your cat's language is about more than just decoding signals. It's about building a stronger bond with your feline friend, enhancing their well-being and enriching your shared experiences. So, take what you've learned today and apply it. Listen, watch, respond, and most importantly, enjoy the journey. Now you're well on your way to having a perfect understanding of your cat. Thanks for watching.